Here we go. Time for the Austrian Grand Prix. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to F1 Manager 2022 Williams Road to Glory. We have scored some points, of course, because of a marvelous wet weather race around Canada. But last time out, we had a quiet, relatively quiet race. So I don't mind that at all. But hopefully today we can cause some upsets yet again. I don't think we got any car developments coming through. Let me see current projects. 31 days until the rear wing comes in. And the chassis research for next season comes in 17 days. We're going to continue to try and upgrade our chassis um, because that's important, of course. But... Here we go. Car analysis right now. Standing, we are a little behind the grid average. So yet again, we are at the back of the field. But let's see if we can give these guys the best strategy and also a decent Austrian Grand Prix. I think considering we have a lot of money, we need to start investing in the team a little. Um, in, in the facilities especially. So I think the weather center needs a lot of help. So 2.1 mil investment. Let's do that. And then for car development, I think Design Center could do with some help here. 18 mil in there. So 7 mil left in our bank. I think that's a good buffer for whatever else we may need, like engine components or some kind of uh, car component perhaps. But let's head on into race weekend. No guarantees this weekend. I think we're going to play it safe. Not sure how the weather's going to be either. Oh, it does look like it might rain. So let me see if I can get some... Maybe Q2, at least one car into Q2. Let's try to put that guarantee on. And then finishing streak of 15th and above, I think is possible. Um, but a streak is not possible. Only for today is possible. So let me see. No fastest lap. Yeah. So we'll just do that one for qualifying. And let's see if we can pull it off. Uh, otherwise, I think we may have an interesting race weekend. So let's head on in. Ooh, there's been a crash. Not sure who it is. Let's see. There's a crash. What happened? Who's that that okay. There we Let's go. This is the crash. The Ooh, Haas and a Red Bull. Well, great angle. I don't see anything. Oh, no. Wow, fantastic angle. Great oh, game. Words, Ugh, great game. Bloody hell. Gotta show me the crash. No crash. All right, that is the end of practice. Hamilton and Norris taking penalties as well as Schumacher possibly from crashing here. Pusher and Nico Hülkenberg in P18, P20. And I just noticed, uh, got a notification saying Teo Pusher just won the F2 race. Um, first one of the season. So you can see why he is so highly rated. And he is actually quite good, I got to say, as our reserve driver at Williams. Let's move on to FP2 then and see if we can etch away at this. Uh, car setup. Oh, there's a crash. Multiple Here's cars have crashed here. Hold on. Is that Red Bull? It's an Alfa Romeo and a Williams involved. Thankfully, the Williams is not involved. Yep, just behind us. Okay. That's good to see. Thankfully, we're clear. All right, then. End of the session. FP2 is over. Schumacher, Verstappen, Hamilton, Norris all taking penalties right now. Albon and Hülkenberg in P16, P20, respectively. But let's go into the final round of uh, practice and see if we can get this ultimate setup. All right, practice is officially over. P18, P20. By the end of it, we're not certain about the car setup right now. Uh, it's a bit of a worry. I think this might be it. This might be it for Hülkenberg and then for Albon. Let's see. Ah, we're gonna be a little compromised on the oversteer, so it's not a full 100%, but hopefully it'll be better than 92. But let's head into qualifying. Hope you guys are enjoying the video. If you are, there are a couple things you can do to support the channel. First off, press that like button and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe by pressing the red button down below and hit the notification bell as well so you're notified as soon as I upload next. Thank you guys so much for your support. Hope you enjoyed the rest of the video. All right, both drivers out here doing laps in a clean track, I think. So let's see. Hülkenberg goes fastest so far, 106.7. Of course, that is not a fast lap. Make sure Michael going about three tenths faster. Albon going about three tenths faster than Hülkenberg as well. Only two thousandths away from Mick Schumacher. So it's a good sign. But let's see what other cars place their cars or where they place their cars and see if we're competitive and we'll try another lap at the end. All right, we're on for our final lap. Q1 is officially over. Oh no, someone locked up. That's probably gonna slow down Hülkenberg. Albon peeks ahead. Sadly drops back down into P16 as I think Zhou Guan Yu goes faster. Hülkenberg crosses the line. I don't think he's going to improve on his time because there was a lockup. 
So we're both out. P15 was not achieved today, so sadly we miss out. But let's see if Albon survives in P16. Ah, uh, he gets shoved down to P17. Ah, uh, too bad. But I'll take that. I will take it. Schumacher has a penalty. Vettel and Stroll. We beat Vettel at least with Albon. Hülkenberg beats Stroll. So that is good to see. It is going to rain on race day. So let's see if we can get another good strategy on. And hopefully push for a decent race finish. It's race day. And final preparations are underway. Williams had a good performance in qualifying. Now they'll be eager to demonstrate that they can have an even better race. This hasn't been McLaren's weekend so far, and they'll probably be disappointed with their grid positions. But after the lights go out, they'll have every opportunity to move up the field. The weather is very overcast here, and teams are staring at the sky, watching for the first sign of rain. Strategies might have to be quite flexible going into today's race. And this is the moment where it all comes together. So prepare for another thrilling race here at the Austrian Grand Prix. All right, then let's see. It is time for the Austrian Grand Prix. Let's see how this rain comes into play. All right, then this is going to be an interesting strat. Hülkenberg is 100% confident here. I did not know that uh, he has 100% car setup. Albon on a 97. But right now it looks like around lap 35, the rain is going to start. So we're going to move on to the enters around that point. Try to see out the rest of the race. Maybe we'll try some wets because it looks like it might be wet weathers around here. Uh, we'll have to keep an eye out. But uh, yeah, I think inters may be able to see out this whole session so this is going to be the strat both on the same strat double stacking at williams let's see if we can perform well here today the drivers have now taken position on the grid and it's looking like a cloudy day here we have alexander albon with their starting position in the back 10 they'll have their work cut out for them and looking at the second Williams car. They'll be starting the race from the bottom half of the grid, so there's a fair bit of ground to make up. And we're just moments away now. And we got to get race this race underway. Let's it's see. Austrian Grand, Austrian Grand Prix time. Let's see if I can work this out, work my magic. Lights, Lights out. out. And away, and away we, we go. go. Time for the Williams to really push ahead here, hopefully. Come on. What tires are everyone on? Mediums and hards. Interesting strat. Everyone's anticipating the rain, I think. All right, Albon loses out to Vettel, but he is going to push back and gets that position back. Ricardo as well, possibly. This is a big momentum from Albon to get up into P14. Beautiful. Hülkenberg trying a move up the inside of a bunch of cars, inching his way through turn three. Albon is still in P14. Let's see if he can get some more positions in the first lap. Of course, the first lap is the most vital one. Oh, Hülkenberg trying a move here. Trying a move on the McLaren. Up the inside. Goes into... Ah, uh, gets squeezed out around turn four. Let's see if he can make something happen. They've really underestimated Hülkenberg's uh, talent in this game. Because he is performing exceptionally well in real life around Bahrain right now. He is absolutely back. Who can back is true. Um, tires are getting a little warm. All right, I'll drop you down to standard because we do need to see these tires last until the wet stint comes about. Okay. And just like that, we got P14, P16, possibly Albon going for a move here. We're going to drop who can back to neutral. Albon can't make a move done, so neutral as well. So let's wait until the rain comes. I'm excited to see what happens there. Okay, it's raining. <laughs> Do we move on to the meet inters or wets? I think inters should be the way to go right now. Let's see. Let's see how this rain comes about. Track is now damp. I understand. But is it going to be extremely wet? Let's see, hold on, where's Bottas going? He's going on inters, Alonso on inters, Hamilton on wets, Gasly probably on inters. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna opposite it. I'm gonna put uh, Hülkenberg on the wets. So let's try and opposite strat this. Okay, Albon's in the pits. 
Gasly as PT for new option. Okay, let's see. I want Hülkenberg on wet and I want Albon on the inters. Let's see if there's a if this was a worthy risk. Okay, good stop. 2.68. My pit uh, my pit crew is improving. Let's see, we're double stacking. I mean, the double stack works to perfection because there was a gap between Hülkenberg and Albon. Let's see. Okay, not bad. 2.6 now. Okay, this is good. Our pit crew has improved quite a bit. All right, let's see what tires people are on. There's a mixed strategy of inters and wets. So some teams are expecting the rain to get worse, which was exactly what I was anticipating here. Possibly what we need is a switch to inters again, but I don't know. We'll see. All right, the wet stint is here. It is 4.3 millimeters. My gosh, that's a lot of heavy rain. It's extremely wet, but I think we can see this stint out with Albon on the mediums. We don't need to pit. Some teams are opting to pit their drivers. Hülkenberg is gaining momentum. Uh-oh. Darn. He locked up. Uh-oh. Hülkenberg locked up. No damage. No damage. That's okay then. Let's just continue. Just continue then, buddy. That's a-okay. Um, let's drop Albon's fuel. And let's try to survive. Ah, darn. Hülkenberg ran wide and caused underfloor damage on his car. Oh, shucks. Oh, he did go wide. Ouch. Perhaps I should pit him for inters? Should I take this time to pit him for inters? Because it does seem like the rain's gonna lighten up. Alright, sure. Let's pit him for inters then. Call him in. And here we go. He's in the pits. Albon up to P11, which is a splendid sight to see. The inters was the right call. So at least we have a chance with at least one car. To be in a competitive position. Inters on 2.6 from the crew. Okay. They're improving. They're improving. I like to see that. So P19 ahead of Schumacher, I think, for Hülkenberg. Let's just keep going. Hülkenberg constantly making mistakes. He's running wide here. Again. What's he doing? Making so many mistakes. Oh boy. Now we see the Williams. Hülkenberg making so many mistakes. It's not his race weekend today. Albono is about to overtake Nico Hülkenberg here. Wow, Albono making a making a huge push to try and lap Hülkenberg. Oh dear. Ah, Albon ran wide as well. Albon ran wide as well. But still maintaining position, maintaining position. Ah, oh, that was so close to getting Russell though. Ay, ay, ay. We were having momentum to try and get Russell. But I think he was still too far away. Uh, so it was too ambitious, but still. Ah, he had the momentum, man. Had the momentum. So many mistakes this weekend, guys. So many mistakes. I don't like it. Oh, there's been a multiple cars crash. Multiple cars crashed. Hold on. Russell has a penalty. Russell has a penalty. Gasly looks like he's out. Gasly may have crashed out. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. This might be an opportunity here. Might be an opportunity. Come on, George. Thank you, George. Come on. Please tell me we've got an opportunity here. Let's see. Ah, oh, we're still too far. Oh, we got him. We got Gasly. We got Gasly from the pits. Oh, this is this is class. We got an opportunity here. People are pitting for wet. Interesting. I don't think it's going to stay wet for too long until the end of the race. Not sure. We'll keep an eye out. Okay, so Sainz just crossed the finish line here. Albon has a chance of scoring some points here today. Hold on. This is an opportunity here. That Gazi russell crash has helped us out a lot. We are about to secure a P9 finish. Come on. Albon, it is absolutely time to push it to the end. And uh oh. Conserve, 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 conserve. Conserve. Defend, deploy, do whatever you must. And he's crossed the line. Okay. Whew, fuel is okay. Alright, we've secured P9. Yes. Yes. That crash was absolutely vital between Gazi and Russell for Albon to secure. P9. Oh my god. I just, I just thought my fuel ran out, but thankfully he's able to continue. Nice. Oh. That was close. 
I nearly screwed that up, but hey, we did it. P18 for Hukenberg who struggled with the tire strategy. I do apologize about that. It was better to stay out on the enters, but hey, it happens. He was the risk we wanted to take, but Albon P9. And of course, Albon is much faster than Hukenberg, so I'll take that. I'll take it. What a pleasure it was to watch Alex Albon on the track and an amazing result to match. Williams have got to be happy with their results here. This was good work. This was an extremely convincing race for them. They're one impressive team. And they deserve to celebrate this properly. With the race wrapped up, the team is ranked in ninth in the constructor standings. As we reach mid-season, the battle will pick up again in the Côte d'Azur. Join us in the south of France at the circuit, Paul Ricard. Yes, 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 yes. We managed to secure some points. The sun is in my eyes. I do apologize. Signs for Stappen and Perez on the podium. Leclerc, Alonso, Hamilton, Ricardo Bottas, Albon, and Gasly in the points. Splendid work from Albon to get P9. Russell, Ocon, Norris, Sonoda, Magnus, and Vettel, Joe, Hürkenberg, Stroll, and Schumacher round out the finishers. Splendid news indeed. Alonso overtakes Russell. Daniel Ricciardo with massive points goes P12 and Hülkenberg drops some points but Albon with two points secured today is now up to P16 or stays in P16 two points behind Nico Hülkenberg and for the constructors we gain two points only six points away from McLaren they score some points today so they're tied with Haas but we are making some good uh, we're making some good movements away from the back of the grid so Aston Martin still no points scored Man, that is absolutely insane how well we drove today with Albon. Great strategy call. Sadly, we had to sacrifice Hukenbeck, but all three drivers getting development points, which is splendid news. And how much money? 3.9 mil made. We missed out on some guarantees of reaching Q2. 23,000 away, but that's fine because we made 103,000 for the weekend. And in total, 3.3 mil made. Thank you very much. Let's go to France.